Hello guys and welcome to a week of crochet. I thought we would just chill this week because we had a market like in my last video and that was like last weekend. And if you watch the video, you know, you know how splendidly that went and it most certainly was not freezing cold and it didn't rain, that's for sure. <laughs> but um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's get into this video. So I'm not really working on anything currently because after this market, like I have nothing to do. Like, I'm not, I have another market at the end of April right now. It's the 21st of March. So I don't feel like I need to start prepping for that anytime soon. And plus I didn't sell a lot of my last market. And so I still have a ton of inventory. So I don't even think, like, I think I'm gonna finish my chubby dinos that I have needed to finish for quite some time now. But um, other than that, I don't really have any prepping to do for that market really. Um, so, I'm not really sure. I'm working on two projects that I was going to keep a secret because I have two future videos that are coming out soon. But I said at the end of the market day video um, that I wanted to start an Etsy shop and that's something I'm going to do in the future. Not It's not happening today. It's not happening today. But before I start an Etsy shop, I feel like I don't want to sell exclusively plushies on there. I want to get some patterns out into the world. And so that's what I've been working on. I've also been working on a blanket, so that's... That's looking great, yeah. Let's just put that over there. But I'm um, working on a pattern and it's for a dragon. And I think it's going well so far other than the fact that I'm like literally about to run out of yarn. So need to order some more. But uh, I'll show it to you guys, I guess, I guess. Where is it? Oh God, okay. So this is what it's looking like so far. My dragon pattern, nothing is sewed on. And yeah, I have this much yarn left. It's not gonna make it because I have to make the rest of the body and then the tail. And so I don't think it's gonna be enough, but we'll see. But that's what I've been working on as of recently. There will be two videos coming out in the future. That I've, been, I've been working on both of those things for like a month now. And so, yeah, I'm writing down everything for the pattern for the dragon. And so that will be something that's gonna come out in the future and I'm going to try to work on as many patterns as I possibly can just because I want to have patterns on Etsy because I feel like that's easier to sell than an actual plushie like if I'm selling a plushie I have to ship it I have to I'm not going to do made to order because that's honestly so stressful because what if you have like a hundred people like order this plushie and then you have to make like a hundred no mm -mm, can't do that so I will not be doing made to order things I will just put on Etsy what I have already made and yeah, if I have multiple of an item, I'll put that on there. And I just really want to do more patterns than plushies. And so um, I have designed patterns in the past, but I never, like, I kind of just freehand things, like, constantly. But I am so bad at not writing down what I do to make those patterns. Like, I've made a bee pattern, insert picture, made a gingerbread pattern, like, gingerbread man pattern, I'll insert a picture. What other pattern? I made a Hello Kitty keychain pattern. I wrote the mo like the majority of that out, but I don't know. I also feel like every pattern that I make is not good enough to be sold. Cause I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't feel like anything that I make is good enough. And that's terrible. I shouldn't think like that, but I do. And so I need to just, maybe I'll sell that pattern for the Hello Kitty keychain. Let me know in the comments if you, that would be something that you guys would actually buy, you know? So I'm not, I don't know, maybe I'll write it out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna, also, I'm gonna make a strawberry. Because I have like a jumbo strawberry that I made out of burnout blanket. I don't, and I want to make another one, not out of burnout blanket, but out of burnout velvet. And I'll enter a picture of what my strawberry looks like. Super cute, and I want to make it out of velvet yarn because I think that would be cute and it'd be like smaller. So I think I'm gonna work on that now maybe so i think these are the colors that we're going with why is the green like falling apart this is okay that's a mess it's okay but yeah these are the colors i think i'm going to go with for the strawberry they're so soft oh my god oh my god i actually need to make like a shirt or something out of this yarn it'd be very expensive but that that's soft that is so soft man okay yeah i'm gonna work on that This is all I have of 
the strawberry that's done so far. But I'm gonna go on a walk with my mom and my siblings because it is finally kind of nice outside. It's sunny and it's like 50 degrees. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to get outside. I just want to finish the decrease rounds on this strawberry and then do the stem, but he's looking so cute. He's a little eyebrows. I just did the face with embroidery thread since it's smaller, but hold on. Let me get the bigger strawberry and I'll show you the size comparison so far. So here's this huge one and then next to it's baby. Look at that. That's insane. That's insane how big of a difference it makes using like, um, so with the big one I use like, I think like a six millimeter or... I think it was bigger than that, like a, s oh no, wait, I used a 9mm hook with that, and I used Bernat Blanket with this, I used Bernat Velvet, and then I used a 5mm, and so, the size difference is insane. So I was I finished the strawberry last night, but it was like late last night, like 10:30, and so it's yelling out there. Just just ignore it, ignore it as always. <laughs> but um, the lighting was not gonna be great, so I figured I'd just show you today. And so look at it, it's so tiny. So I have the big one here too. So I'll just show you both of them next to each other. So I didn't put like the, I have like white little seeds on this one. I didn't do that on this one. I might in the future do that, but my mom said it looked fine. And so, oh my God, it's so cute. It's so small. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I need to make one in acrylic yarn now just to see the size difference between all three of these. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my God. And I didn't put blush on this one because the only pink color that I, oh my God, half in velvet is the color that I made the actual strawberry with. But, oh my god, it's little eyebrows. Oh my god, it's so cute. So I finished that, and, um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna work on. <laughs> I'll think of something, probably. Why is the lighting so bad? Um, hey guys, it is a new day. I have not worked in, it, like, really anything. I'm working on this blanket, really. That's what I did, like, last night, the majority of yesterday, I guess. But I'm going to a market right now. I'm not participating in the market. I'm just going to it. I went to this market last year again not participating in it but um i was going to participate in it but it's a pretty like small market it's indoors though so but it's mostly just a bunch of like old women selling <laughs> random stuff but there was a few like crochet things not amigurumi but just like normal crochet things and last year there was this lady who had like a bag that was, that was literally made out of a bunch of plastic bags and when i saw that i looked it up and apparently that's like a thing and i actually made like, I guess it's called Plarn, like P-L-A-R-N, like, um, but I made it the other day, and it was pretty cool, and so I think I'm gonna make some more, but I'm also gonna take you along to this market, and then I have to go to work after, like, immediately after the market, so. <laughs>
guys so as i told you like i had to go to work immediately after that market so we went straight from the market to my work so it's a little later in the day it's almost six o'clock but that market was so cute it was like like what i showed you in those clips that was like all the market was and so it was like relatively small but i really liked it and there's like three crocheters there and i showed you their booths and i had like a good conversation with one of them the other two i didn't really talk to but one of them was like really nice and i really liked her stuff it was really good and so i have her business card and it is yarn craft and here's her i don't know if you guys want to see your phone number but that is all of her information her stuff was honestly so adorable and do you know like the chicken like the Ma mabel chicken pattern is that what it's called but she had like a mini version of it it was like a keychain and it was so adorable and it was it was her own pattern but i told she hasn't like she's not selling it but i was like you need to get that pattern out into the world i think my siblings are looking for me they're like outside my door like conspiring i can hear it it's so funny and then i didn't i bought one thing it wasn't like a crochet thing but it was this cute little cup so I bought my mom one of these cups off of like Etsy and I don't have one and so now I bought it and it's so cute. And I actually know the person who owns the small business that made that. And here is her card. It's Creations by Kennedy and she does custom orders. She's just starting out. Who's texting me right now? Oh, got my move goal. Yes. But yeah, she's just starting out. This was her first market and she had some really cute stuff. She does like shirts. She did these, like, so she does these cups, obviously. She does, like, uh, cute, like, little tumblers. And she also, like, you see how this is frosted? She did, like, mugs that were really cute, and they were, like, frosted mugs. They were adorable, so definitely check them out. I don't know. Are they, are they on Etsy? I don't know if they're on Etsy. Yeah, but Facebook. Follow them on Facebook. So, yeah, that was a fun market. And uh, now I gotta clean my room and I bought a Lego set and I'm gonna build that with my little sister. It was, it's really cute. I don't have it with me. Maybe I'll go get it and I'll show it to you. So here's the Lego set. It's like a little guinea pig park and I saw it and I was like, I need to get it. And it was like, I got it from Kohl's. So my mom had Kohl's cash and it was like 12 bucks. So I gotta go build that with her. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film a ton like these next few days because I literally found out today that I have like an exam for one of my classes that's due tomorrow and I'm like wow okay I really wish I would have known that sooner but that's honestly my fault so I gotta do that okay this is Charlie my little sister she's adorable how old are you Charlie four she's four she's gonna be five when June June 12th yeah, yeah. that's her birthday okay it's been forever since I've built a lego set the last lego set I built you destroyed it uh -huh. It was Rapunzel's castle, and I don't know why you destroyed it. You just randomly did. How do I tell you an alternate? Oh. Aaron asked me to tell me. He asked me why. Okay. Aaron told you to destroy it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But this time I'm not going to. You're not going to destroy that. this because one because it's going to look so okay. cute. If, if you don't destroy this one, then we can build Elsa's castle, and maybe we can try to build Rapunzel's castle again too. Yeah. Okay. Also, we have. We Here's also have instructions. Okay, hold those. Okay. That's heavy. Okay. We have a bag of random pieces. Okay. I did my side. Another bag of random pieces. And then we yeah, have these two. Okay, so how do we do this? First of all, we'll hold this related thing. Okay, also, we have snacks. White cheddar cheese, it's the best kind. Mark mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see what we need to do. So. Oh, we have Lego people. Oh, the first thing is we need to make the people. That's easy. Okay. So we gotta make Zach. And then. Wait, where's the other lady? Did I miss a page? There's another girl you're supposed to make. What's her name? Jamila. So, gotta make both of them. Okay, we're gonna time lapse this and we're gonna make this Lego set. Right, Charlie? High five. Aaron's trying to help us. This is a girls thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're having a girls time right now and building this Lego set and Aaron's trying to ruin this for us. <laughs>
we finished it. Charlie, you want to show them around what everything is? Uh -huh. So, what do we have right here? So, this is the spinning wheel. Mm -hmm. and there's a guinea pig in there. I and don't know what his name is. And there's my guinea pig there. The guinea pig. And then, what do we have on the other side? We have the food place and the slide. And we have the water back there. We have a tree. They can take a nap. And then an apple, right? Yeah, and a lot of new spinny thing. And then I think this one's name is Jelly Bean, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we finished it. That was fun, right? Yep. Okay, now we gotta show Aaron, right? Nice. Okay, go show Aaron. Don't let him destroy it, okay? Hello, it is Sunday. And since I don't really have anything to work on, I've been wanting to make more clothing. Like, I've never really made, like, crochet clothes. I mostly just do plushies, you know? I Like, you guys probably know that. Uh, I made a bag, which I'll insert a picture. And I've made fingerless gloves. I don't know if I have a picture of that, but... I mean, they've, they've made a lot of appearances in my videos. So, if y'all have been watching my videos, you probably have seen them at some point. But I've never really made clothes ever and so i'm gonna start small i'm not doing like a sweater i attempted to make a christmas sweater like two years ago at this point still have not finished it i don't think i ever will and so i've also i have a lot of sweaters i've attempted to do but they just never finished them so i'm gonna attempt to do a sweater someday and i will finish it but i have that day is not today it's not today <laughs> but i'm gonna start small and i'm gonna make a hat so i have this holding it backwards but this ice cream line brand like yarn and this yarn has been on my wish list for forever and I finally like a few months ago bought like three like a three pack like three of these small little skeins of yarn and I love the color so much and I'm like I need to like, I don't know what to make with all of them and something I've been wanting to make also for a long time which I kind of already made one but I didn't finish it again sitting in my work in progress bin but it's like a cat ear beanie and I kind of made one. I'll go get it. It's just not done. So this is the cat ear beanie that I did and I don't think I followed a pattern. I just made this up, but yeah, I'm going to mess up my hair a little bit. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And so it's not finished because I have not sewn together the top. They're just held together by like, uh, what are these called? <laughs> um, Oh my god, stitch markers. That's what they're called. Oh my god. But yeah. So that that's that. I mean, I love the yarn color and it's like super soft. Maybe I should finish it off, but I don't know. I just don't I don't like it. But yeah. I'm going to follow a pattern on YouTube and hopefully it'll turn out okay. And yeah. I don't know. Is this yarn too thin? We're going to see. We will watch the video. Maybe I'll use different yarn. And I'll just have to save this for a future project. But yeah, let's make a cat ear beanie. Do a progress check on this cat ear beanie this is all that i have done so far and yeah actually it's held together by like a stitch marker right now just because i had to take this thing apart like four times and start it over because the thing that i hate about clothing also is like i never can get it to fit right i still don't know if this is too big or too small i don't i don't know and i don't know it seems fine like the last few times I did it, it was too small, and so I think it's finally, like, the right size, but this yarn color, it's so pretty. It is so pretty, but also, I'm running into a dilemma with this other hat, so <laughs> it's, 
I'm thinking it's too big to be um, a cat ear beanie. And I was like, maybe it's big enough to be a tube top. And so I am kind of dumb for this, but I was like, maybe I could put it on. I got stuck in it and I had a panic attack, but I got it off finally, but now it's super stretched out. So it does not fit as a tube top is what I'm trying to say here. But this is what it, this is what it looks like. It's very stretched out now. Um, so I kind of need ideas for what to do with this. So definitely cannot be a shirt of any type because I will not be able to get it on and off easily. Uh, I was thinking of giving it to my little, like maybe turning it into a shirt for my little sister. I have to get her to try it on though, cause I don't know. And I cannot take it apart. Like that is not an option cause, oh God, I just dropped it. Oh, <laughs> but with this yarn, why do I keep dropping it? But with this yarn, every time I try to take apart a stitch, it just gets stuck because of like, I don't know, all the, like, it's very fuzzy yarn. Can you see that? And so, I don't know, it just keeps getting stuck. And so I just took apart one stitch and it's already stuck. That's all I've been able to do. I can do it one stitch at a time and then it gets stuck. And so give me ideas down in the comments of what to do with this thing. I, I don't know. I do not know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to keep working on this. Yeah, I have not made a lot of progress on it just because I have had to keep taking it apart. And so hopefully this is a good size now. I'll try it on. Oh, and I have to make sure the stitch markers are right. But this is what it looks like on. I think that's a good size. It's not too big. But I don't, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to figure, we're going to find out if it's too big or too small whenever it's completely done which I don't like that but that's what I don't like about clothes like crocheting clothes like you never really know if it's gonna fit until like you're done with it and so yeah whenever I try to make any piece of clothing ever I have to keep re like undoing it just because it's either too big or too small and I you know I just want it to fit perfectly but it never works out that way so that is why I have never really made clothes that's one of the reasons also I'm just too lazy to finish anything but you know we're gonna finish this I can't get over how pretty this yarn is though it's a cute headband right now though look at that it's pretty stylish maybe I can make some headbands too also yes I am following like a pattern but I'm using different like weight yarn than what the person in the video is using. She is using like a uh, number four weight yarn. This is number three weight yarn. And so I knew that I would have to chain more than her. And so I did that. I chained, she said to chain like 56, I think, 58. Yeah, I think like 56 or 58. I chained 72 for this. And so that is, I thought that would be enough and it seems like it's working, but before I chained like smaller or I didn't chain as much and it was just too small. And I didn't know that like yarn weight could like make that much of a difference. And also I'm using a different size hook. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook and she was using, I think a 4.5. I originally started with a five millimeter hook and I decided to just go up a size in the hook. So I was like, why not? And I don't know, it seems to be like okay right now, but we'll find out whenever I'm fully done with this hat, I guess, which scares me because I don't want to do all this work and then have it not fit. If it doesn't fit, I'll just give it to one of my younger siblings because I mean, that they have small heads, right? Yeah, that'll work out. It can be a children's hat. That could work, but hopefully it fits me. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'll probably just sell it because I don't know why, but I don't really keep anything that I make. I'm working on it. You can't see because my camera's too high. Maybe I should lower it. Is that too low? I don't know. Low, low, low. Okay. We're just gonna end this video now. So the pattern that I'm using says to do 10 rounds. I've done 10 rounds. This is actually like 11 rounds. Then it's like, I'm gonna try it on. Cause I also, like I slip stitch just to close it off. Just temporarily, I'm gonna take it apart 
but I just wanted to see if this thing would actually fit. And so I tried it on. I don't know how to put on this thing. And that's what it looks like. I guess it's fine because the other one that I made was like super loose. And so I think this is fine. It's like not super tight, but it's also like not super loose. So I think it's perfect. But yeah, this is like 11 rounds. Definitely not big enough to be a hat. So I'm going to keep going until I think it's long enough. And then we're just going to close it off. And so, yeah, definitely would not recommend doing a pattern with a different whoa, yarn weight than like the person who's doing the pattern has. Cause this is, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this in this video. So many things going wrong. <laughs> Almost done. So I have it pinned together. I don't know if, you, if I'm showing you the back right now, but I have it pinned together with uh, stitch markers. And one, three, or I won't take it off cause it looks really cute. But I, I, it's not closed off at the top. It's still completely open. I have to do a few more rounds and then close it off. But oh my God, it looks so cute. The colors are so beautiful, but I gotta go to work. I'll finish it up probably tonight. So see you then. Yeah. Any other sauces? Okay, and then anything else? Okay, so you have a Chick-fil-A sandwich, meal with fries, a cherry coke, and then ranch. Okay, and 917 is going to be the total. Okay, and good job. Great day. Okay, I'm back from work. The lighting's going to be really bad because it's just by, like, room light. I mean, it's, it actually doesn't look too bad. It's, it's fine. But, um, it is 8.30, 8.25. It's close enough. But I'm going to try to finish up this hat. Hopefully tonight. Hopefully. I don't know. I mean, it probably shouldn't take too long. I probably only need to, need to do like two rounds, maybe. Maybe four. I don't know. Two or four. Somewhere in that range. But I'm also kind of sad right now. Because my, my work bestie got fired tonight. And so I only ever see her whenever I'm working with her. And so I don't think I'll ever get to see her again. So it's kind of sad. But I'll be fine. Just gonna crochet and it'll make me happy. still bad because it's really dark and gloomy outside so i just have my room light on so just sorry but um we've made some progress like i think this is a good like length which honestly i was honestly considering like making this a shirt because this looks like it could be half of a panel but i won't do that i'll make a hat but i'm trying to think of the best way to like assemble this because i tried just slip stitching across like this part which is what the late like the girl in the video said to do and i don't know just i didn't like the look of it like the seam was too big and like bulky and it was just it didn't look right and so i was thinking of maybe using my sewing machine to sew it together but then i'm like i don't think that would work still and so i was thinking if i just single crocheted along like this part of it so then it would make a cleaner like seam whenever I do sew it together and then I could also like just and then so my plan is to go and single crochet all the way around like the bottom here and then this side until I get to right here and then I'll probably just, just I don't know I'll probably cut off a tail of yarn and sew or I'll just go around and slip stitch no that wouldn't work I need to sew it I think Hmm, I need to think about this. No, you go around, single crochet. Maybe I just like fold it like that. Yeah, okay. So I go like around here, around the bottom, and then up here. And then once I get up here, I'll fold it in half. 
and then I'll slip stitch across here or but then I'd have to cut off the yarn it could work because maybe I could cut off I could slip stitch across the top and maybe just sew this closed that might work I don't know I have to work out how I'm gonna do that but yeah I'll probably finish this today probably and also I was gonna I need to like order some of those like leather like tags off of Etsy because I think it'd be really cute on the rim of it like it's like I don't know branded a little bit so it's more personalized I think that's pretty cool so I finished single crocheting around all the edges and so now my like plan I still haven't cut off the yarn it's still attached but my plan is to like get my sewing machine and just sew along here so the rim of the like or rim of it I guess will not come apart so that's what I'm gonna do next and then I'm gonna just close off the whole hat and so at this point I'm not even looking at a pattern or like watching any videos because I have done like everything completely different from what the girl in the video has done so I mean yeah this is much more complicated than what she was doing I definitely made this hard for myself <laughs> but hopefully it'll work out and I will have a hat at the end of this all right so I have it pinned together I'm just gonna sew like probably along here and I hope it works. I've seen people sew, like, crocheted things. So, I don't know. We'll see. If not, I'll just get a seam ripper and rip it out. But then, once I sew that, I need to fold it this way. And then just crochet um, right along here and close off the top of it. Or not, I need to slip stitch or t along the top of it. And then cut off the yarn and just sew right here. Um, I might use a sewing machine. It depends on if it works with the rim of it. Um, if not, I'll just use yarn to seam the two ends together, but yep, and then we'll be done, and <laughs> this was so complicated, I definitely didn't know I was signing up for this much. <laughs> okay, so I have my sewing machine down here, and usually I would iron this, but I don't know how well yarn holds up at, like, with ironing, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use, where did it go? This purple thread because I think that goes pretty well with this and so I have to make a bobbin real quick and then I'm gonna get to sewing and my sewing machine is notorious for eating fabric that's why I don't sew that often and so I'm really hoping it's not gonna like rip out any thread or anything or get eaten up by my machine so I think I'm gonna test it out before I actually start sewing on the hat I'm gonna test it out on some scrap fabric just to make sure it's not gonna eat up the fabric or eat up the yarn or anything like that. So yeah, let's do this. surprisingly well I did have to play around with the settings of my sewing machine a little bit just to like get the stitches to be right and I had to like really like trying to maneuver this thing in here because it is a, like much thicker than what the sewing machine is definitely like used to but I think that worked out great I'm gonna take out the pins real quick and I'm gonna show you what everything looks like so this is what it looks like and there's just yeah it's on there like really tight so the seam of this is not going to come apart and so I think that looks really good oh there's still a pin in there I just stabbed myself it's okay but yeah that actually like I'm so shocked by how well that worked out I might just go ahead and like finish off this hat with my sewing machine because that was really easy <laughs> but yeah I mean honestly I could so this would be the outside of it I might just go ahead and do that this would be really thick though it would be fine but yeah, let me pin it together, and I guess I'm going to finish it off with my sewing machine, because that seems like a lot easier than having to like slip stitch and like all that stuff. And then you won't have as big of a seam, I think. But yeah, I'll see how that works out. I'll try it out. So I seamed it up in the back, and it made a pretty clean like seam. Like, look at that. Um, So I'm going to just sew up the top, and I guess I'll be done with it. This is so easy. I did not realize that like this worked this well. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead 
and seam up the top of this thing and then we will be done with this hat and yeah didn't really think i was gonna have to use a sewing machine whenever i started this hat but here we are <laughs> mistake that's great isn't it so i uh, sewed this the wrong way so i was supposed to flip this inside out and then sew it and so it's not that big of a deal i mean it is a big deal but i only got this far in doing the top of the hat so all i have to do is just rip out that seam and so it shouldn't be too hard but i've never really had to rip a seam out of yarn so we're just gonna see how that's gonna go I finished it. Oh my god, it fits perfectly. It fits so, like, good. But let me show you what I did. So let me just turn it inside out. So I still have to, like, sew in all these, like, tails and stuff for the yarn. But, oh my god. So I just, like, went along the top and sewed. And uh, then, yeah, you just turn it inside out. And it, it, oh my god, it turned out so awesome. So then you have the seam on the back, obviously. But that's what it looks like. And it fits so good. And look how cute it is oh my god i should do like a video tutorial of how to do this but you do need like a sewing machine which i didn't expect whenever i first started doing this but oh my god it's so cute and it's so soft this yarn is so nice but i love it oh my god it's so cute i can't believe like i sewed it together too but that's that's so cool i finally made an article article of clothing like that's so cool Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So thank you guys so much for joining me this week and crocheting and listening to me ramble on about the most random things. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a lot, I guess. I don't know, I ramble a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm rambling right now. But um, <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm sorry, I just hit my tripod. <laughs> but um, join me next week for another video. I'm not sure what it'll be. It'll be something super random, I'm sure. But I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.